Hold on. Hey guys, let's get started with Matthew chapter 15, verse 29, reading through chapter 16, verse 12. Jesus feeds the 4,000, and we'll be talking about the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And then we'll be reading Psalm 20, and then we have several, like seven or eight Proverbs today. So let's get read Matthew. Jesus left there and went along the Sea of Galilee. Then he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, and the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, and the blind seeing the crippled made well and the lame walking and they praised the God of Israel Jesus called his disciples to him and said I have compassion for these people they have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way his disciples answered where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Afterward, the disciples picked up eleven basketfuls of broken, sorry, they picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was four thousand men, besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the vicinity of Magadan. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. He was always testing Jesus, trying to test him. But Jesus always knew what they were up to. He, he always knew what they were up to and always, always outdone them always had an answer ready for them every time and they just could not stand it. He always outdid them every time with his answers. It infuriated them. He replied, when evening comes you say, it will be fair weather for the sky is red and in the morning today it will be stormy for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation looks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Jesus then left them and went away. Remember, we talked the other day about what the sign of Jonah was, speaking how Jonah was in the belly of the well and how Jesus was going to be crucified and then laid in the tomb and then resurrected after three days, remember? Just like Jonah was in the belly of the well. And then God let him back out of the well and he was alive. He got, God saved him. When they went across the lake, the disciples forgot to take bread. Be careful, Jesus said to them. Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They discussed this among themselves and said, It is because we didn't bring any bread. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked, You of little faith, 
Why are you talking among yourselves about having no bread? Do you still not understand? Don't you remember the five loaves for the 5,000 and how many basketfuls you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the 4,000 and how many basketfuls you gathered? How is it you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread? But be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Because they don't always teach what is right. The Pharisees and Sadducees. All right, and that's where we're going to stop with Matthew today. All right, guys, so let's get on with our psalm, Psalm 20, for the director of music, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up your banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed he answers him from his heavenly sanctuary and the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. We are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. And that was Psalm 20 for the director of music, a Psalm of David. And like I said, we have several Proverbs today. And they are Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 27. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk from far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to your paths for your feet, and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. All right, guys, and that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again soon with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.